Hello and welcome to Learn One Soul. Recently, our customers told us when they are using our servo controller to control their own servos, their servo will wobble and jitter. So in this episode, I explain to you why this situation will happen. And look at this board. I bring you two servos, and this one is our company's digital servo LD20MG. And this one is one of the common analog servos on the market. So we can uh, control the movement of these two servos and you can compare uh, them and uh, see what's the difference between them. First, we connect these two servos to our servo controller and then we can use our PC software to control the movement of them. And look at this one. This number 11 icon corresponds to analog servo and this number 17 icon corresponds to our company's digital servo. So, okay, let's get started. If I drag the slider, you can see how it works, just like this. And you can see the rotation angle of our digital servo is 120 degrees and it can, re it can move very smoothly. But when we turn to this analog servo and you can see how it works. And you can see when we um, drag the slider in the 500 to 2300, it can rotate 120 degrees. It's normal. But if you drag the slider, it exists 2300. And at this moment, this servo will wobble and jitter. So actually, this kind of situation is not caused by our servo controller. It is caused by the analog servo itself because you can buy it at a very low price and the quality of, our, of this analog servo is not very good. So in other words, the PWM is not designed strictly according to the normal plus width of 0 0.5 milliseconds to 2.5 milliseconds. So uh, uh, if you are using standard digital servo, just like our company's servo, you will not come across this kind of situation. But if you are using analog servo, you should operate in its appropriate range. And this is the question. If you still have any questions about this situation, please contact us and I will and we will give you a quick response within 24 hours and see you then.